I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent comments. Based on your response, here are three very important questions based on tangents and normals. This is the very first important unit in calculus where we learn how do we apply the derivatives. The three questions before you are shown on the screen. You can always pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. Well, one of them is always seen in a test paper. So the three type of questions here are, we need to find the point on the curve y equals to x square plus 4x plus 1, where the gradient of the tangent equals to y coordinate of the curve. Right? So tangent gradient is equal to the y coordinate. Question number two here is, the tangent to the curve y equals to 1 over x at the point P passes through a point 6, 0 with coordinates of the point P to be found, correct? And the question number three is, find the points on the curve y equals to x square where the tangent passes through the external point to 3. While well, 6, 0 in previous case is also an external point. I'd like you to pause the video, ask these questions, and then look into my suggestions. We are going to take solution of all three questions in this particular video. In case you want to learn directly from me, feel free to send an email on the address given, globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Now let's take up question number one. In case you want to learn from me, Feel free to send an email on the address given, globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. You can also visit our website for latest developments. Now let's look into the solution of the problem, which is find the point on the curve y equals to x square plus 4x plus 1, where the gradient of the tangent equals to the y coordinate of the curve. So slightly difficult to understand, but let's try to understand what are we trying to do. So we are looking at two things here. One is the gradient to the curve, which is given to us as y equals to x square plus 4x plus 1. And the gradient basically is the derivative. So the derivative using power rules can be written as 2x plus 4. Now we want this gradient to be equal to y coordinate of the curve, right? So, so what is the y coordinate of the curve? That is the y coordinate of the curve, right? So basically we are saying that this gradient, which is y prime, should be equal to y, correct? So that gives you an equation that 2x plus 4 should be equal to x square plus 4x plus 1. Is that clear to you? Perfect. So that is what it means. And now it is pretty simple. You have a quadratic equation to solve. Let's do it. So bringing all the terms to one side, we can say 0 equals 2 x square plus 4x plus 1 minus 2x minus 4. And that gives you x square plus 2x minus 3. This can be factored. Minus 3 is the product plus 2 is the sum and therefore it could be x plus 3 times x minus 1. Correct. Now this quadratic equation provides two solutions. One is x equals to minus 3 and the other one is x equals to 1. You get the idea. So we get two points. Well let's find the y values of these right. So y value same as the derivative right. So let's plug in at minus 3, right? So 2 times minus 3 plus 4 gives you minus 6 plus 4, which is minus 2. So one of the point is minus 3 minus 2, correct? Let's call this point A and the other point will be the derivative 
at 1, right? So, so which is 2 times 1 plus 4, which is 6, correct? So, so the other point will be at 1, we have 6, correct? So, these are the two points which should uh, help us solve the question. You get the whole idea, right? You will also verify that if you substitute 1 here, what do you get? Do you get 6, right? Substitute and check. So, I like you to actually substitute and check the solution, right? So, sub in y and then check the solution, correct? Okay? But I hope with this, you have understood the whole concept. So, once again, if you have to solve such a question, what you need to do is find the derivative, right? And equate it to y value. That is what is required. And that gives you a quadratic equation solve and check solution. Is that clear to you? So, I hope that helps, right? Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, be great. In case you want to learn from me directly, you can send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. So, basically, what are we given? We are given the curve of 1 of over x, which can be drawn kind of like this, right? We say that there is a point P where the tangent of the on the curve crosses at the point 6, 0. And we need to really find the coordinates of point P. The situation is kind of like this. We need to find this particular point P, correct? But we know that the x intercept is 6. Perfect. Now let's look into the solution. So the function given to us is y equals to 1 over x. The derivative of this function will be y equals y prime equals to minus 1 over x squared, right? Some of you prefer to write. 1 over x is x minus 1. To apply the power rule and write the derivative as minus x to the power of minus 2 or minus 1 over x squared. Since we do not know the point, let us say that the coordinates of the point are a, the x value. Since the function is 1 over x, the y value will be 1 over a, correct? So, what is going to be the slope at x equals to a? Well, the slope at x equals to a will be minus 1 over a square. Perfect. Now, if we know the slope and the point, we can write down the equation of the tangent line, right? So, equation of the tangent line can be given as y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. So, we get from here the equation as y minus, the y value is 1 over a, right? Gradient is minus 1 over a square x minus x1, which is a for us. So, a and 1 by a are x and y coordinates of point P. How do we find the value of a? We also know that this tangent also passes through the point 6, 0, right? 6, 0. So, if I substitute 6, 0 in this equation, I can find the value of a. Perfect. So, what are we going to do? We are going to write y as 0, right? And x as equal to 6. Now, we have equation in single variable a. And so, we can find out its value. So, a square, right? Minus y over a square. Multiplying by a square on both the sides, minus a square in this case, we get a equals to 6 minus a, correct? And from here, we can solve the value for a, right? So, we can bring it to the left side. It gives you a plus a equals to 6, and that is 2a equals to 6, or a is equal to 6 by 2, which is 3. And therefore, 
the coordinates of point P will be A values 3 and the Y value will be 1 over 3. Perfect. So that is how we are going to find the coordinates of this particular point. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. So I hope the solution of this problem is absolutely clear. Now let's take up question number three. The question here is, find the points on the curve y equals to x square where the tangent passes through the external point to 3. So let's try to understand this question. So we have a curve which is y equals to x square, kind of a parabola, right, opening up. Now, from a point 2, 3, well, square of 2 is 4, not 3. That means point 2, 3 will be slightly below the curve, right? So if this is my parabola, it is very important to visualize before even you start answering the questions, right? So from an external point 2, 3, what happens really is that you could have two tangents, right? So so the graph, let's say the point is right there, right? So in this case, you may have a tangent on this side as well as this side. For example, let's say that is your one tangent. The other point could be tangent to this side of the graph. This is what I'm trying to say. We need to figure out how. So let us consider the point on the curve where we have a tangent is P and X value being A, right? So let it be at X equals to A. In that case, in the equation Y equals to X square, we know that tangent is at X equals to A. So the derivative of this function is 2X and the derivative at X equals to A will be equals to 2A, right? Since the tangent passes through the point A, where y value is going to be A square, what is going to be the equation? Well, we are going to use the point slope form of the equation y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. So in this case, y minus the y value is A square. The gradient is 2A, x minus A, right? So that becomes the equation of the curve, correct? Equation of the tangent. Is that clear to you? This tangent passes through the point P. And also we are given that this tangent also passes through the point, let's call this point as Q, which is 2, 3. So in that case, substituting 2 and 3 in this equation should satisfy, correct? So let's take it on the other page the solution when y will be 2 and x will when y will be 3 x will be 2 right in that case 3 minus a square equals to 2a times 2 minus a so we need to solve this equation as you can see this is a quadratic equation in a so we expect two values of a right okay so let's take it on the next page the equation 3 minus a square. So let me rewrite the equation as such. So it is basically we are looking at the equation y minus a square equals to 2a times x minus a, right? So we are considering the point P as a and a square and the other point Q as 2 and 3, right? Perfect. Substituting 2, 3 as we did earlier, what do we get? 3 is the y value, so 3 minus a square equals to 2a times 2 minus a. Let's open the bracket solve. So we get 3 minus a square equals to 4a minus 2a square. Bringing a squares to one side, we have 2a square minus a square. Also, we can bring this all these terms here, right, plus 3 equals to 0. So that is a quadratic equation, right? So we have a square minus 4a plus 3 equals to 0. I can always factor this and find the values of a. 
product of 3, sum of minus 4. So 3 and 1 works for us, right? So we can write this as a minus 3 times a minus 1 equals to 0. So a for us is equal to 1 and also a is equal to 3. So there are two points from here, a equals to 1 and a equals to 3, which will give us tangents. And these tangents will be tangents to the curve. You get the idea. So from this point, we can actually draw two tangents, one at a equals to 1, the other one at a equals to 3, right? So we need to find the points on the curve, right, where the tangents pass through the external point. So there are two points. If a is 1, what is the value of y? Well, if a equals to 1, then y equals to 1 square, which is 1, and therefore the point is 1, 1. And if a equals to 3, then y equals to 3 square, which is 9, and therefore the point is 3, 9. So these are the two points through which the tangent can go through, right? So I hope that makes sense. And therefore, the equation, the question itself, having points on the curve make more sense, right? So suggestion here is that when you get this kind of a problem, you need to think about, right? So, so that means one tangent like this, the other one is kind of like this, right? So we are having two tangents. So those are the two points P and P dash from where we could right we could draw tangents to this given curve right does it make sense to you right extremely important question i hope you have understood the concept using one point we actually found the equation and by substituting the external point we actually solve this equation with two values of a i hope you find it interesting and useful feel free to write your comments and suggestions in case you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great you can always send an email on the address given to learn directly from me. Thanks for your time and all the best.